All right, so welcome back to another video of Arc Nova, everybody. So for this video, I'm going to go over, and probably it's going to take a few videos to go over all of these sponsor cards here, because this is all of the sponsor cards in the entire game. Now, obviously, some of the sponsor cards are really easy to understand, and but we'll still go over them anyways, because there's also a lot of sponsor cards in here that are a lot harder to understand than others. And it's always good to know... Um, some of these sponsors cards because sometimes you'll get a bunch of sponsors cards that will show up and you won't really know for sure if this is a good card to keep right now or not but maybe this will help you know definitely help you to pinpoint the really good sponsors sponsor cards in this game that when they do show up you'll be like oh i remember this one so let's uh you know so i'm gonna play with this one for sure you know so let's get started so first, we're going to start with uh, some of the spon most of the sponsor cards here that deal with giving out tiles. So there's a bunch of bunch of uh, sponsors cards in this game that actually have special tiles that go with them, and some are easier than others. So let's just get started. So this one, the Adventure Playground, uh, you have to play. Uh, you ba basically you get the instant effect of getting to place this special tile, okay? And that special tile also has to be placed next to a mountain. In fact, it even says it has to be placed next to one rock space, hence mountain, rock, whatever. But you place it next to a rock space, and you'll get instantly four appeal. That's the benefit of playing this little tile here. You get some appeal. And since it, you know, doesn't cost money, you, you know, that's nice, getting four appeal for for basically free. Well, you know, of the, of the cost of one action anyways. But still, it's a good card. Okay, so the Akapi Stable here. You uh, get the instant effect. Of course, you have to have, uh, probably, you're going to need an X token to play this because you have to have a six tier. And as you know in the game, the game only goes up to five. So you're going to need an X token in order to play this. Um, and obviously, you might need more if it's if your uh, sponsor's action isn't currently at number five. You might need more. But you get the instant effect of playing this special tile here. And then, not only that, but then when you play this card, you place three player tokens on this card. Each time you play an herbivore icon into your zoo, you may remove a token from this card and then play a sponsor card for money based on its tier. So, for instance, if you had this card in your hand after you played an herbivore into your zoo, and this would also include this because... This is an herbivore icon, and it's any time an herbivore icon is placed into your zoo that you can remove a player token from this card. So, in a sense, you could play the Okapi Stable and this Adventure Playground on the same turn, basically, is what it's saying. And then, of course, when you start placing other herbivore icons into your zoo and you have a sponsorship card, you can play that sponsorship card on the same turn, but instead of obviously needing... But obviously, you're going to be paying money instead of getting to play the card for free. But still, you know, you save yourself an action doing it that way. And you only have to pay three money if it was like, for instance, this card here. So it's a nice, interesting way of obviously getting to play more sponsors cards. But basically, that's how Okapi Stable is going to work. The closest living relative to the giraffe, of course. Okay. Reese's Monkey Park. Uh, so each you get the instant effect of placing this special tile into your zoo. Obviously, it's a five tier, so you need a five tier, obviously, or need some, you need to use some X tokens or something. But uh, each time you place a primate icon into your zoo, you gain one X token. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So if you play a lot of monkeys or a lot of primates, I mean, you can get a lot of X tokens throughout the game. Nice. Okay, so the polar bear exhibit. Uh, so this one's got a couple of things on it, obviously. More than a couple, but obviously you get the instant effect of placing that special tile there. And then it has to be placed next to water. In fact, it even says it needs to be placed next to a water space. The special tile. The polar bear exhibit, that is. So basically, the, this tile is a polar bear exhibit. Okay, each time a bear icon is played into, your, into any zoo, you get two appeal. So if you're playing, this is a good card if you're playing with lots of other players, because chances are somebody is probably going to play a bear icon into their zoo, and when they do, you'll get two appeal for that. And of course, if you play other bears into your zoo, 
you'll get two appeal again for each one. Cool, right? That's really cool. And then at the end of the game, if you have a certain amount of bear icons in your zoo, you'll get a certain amount of conservation points at the end of game. So if you have three, you'll get one conservation point. And if you have six bear icons, you'll get two conservation points at the end of game. So it really obviously makes it useful to play some bears in your zoo if you're gonna go and play this into your zoo. Okay, the spotted hyena compound. Okay, so this is another one similar to one of the last ones we did. Obviously, you get to place a special tile, which is, you know, this one here, into your zoo. And it also has to be placed at least to one rock space. It says it right here, and it obviously shows it up there. And then each time you play a predator icon into your zoo, reveal the topmost X amount of cards of the deck, and then add one animal card to your hand, discarding the other cards. The X equals the number of predator icons that you have. Okay, and this is like the hunter action. There's a special type of action the animals have in this game that some of them do anyways, that's called hunter. And so basically this is letting you take the hunter action that some of these animals have, but with this sponsorship card instead. Pretty cool. So, you know, if you had more than one of these predator icons, so if you, let's say, had three predator icons in your zoo, and you place a predator into your zoo, and that adds, you know, your fourth predator into your zoo, your fourth predator icon into your zoo, then you'd get to draw four cards. And then there's a good chance that one of those would probably be an animal card. So, you know, that's how that works. Okay. The sea turtle tank. This is a good one. So, obviously, this one lets you... You lets you place this special tile here, and it has to be placed next to a water space, of course. The benefit of playing this, other than that, obviously, though, is each time you play a, a reptile icon into your zoo, you may sell up to two cards from your hand for four money each. So basically, you get to take the sunbathing action that some of the reptiles, and there's like one other animal that's not a reptile, that has this particular action called sunbathing, so basically, it's letting you take that action every time you place a reptile into your zoo. So if you have a lot of cards you want to sell, and you play this, and you have a lot of reptiles you're planning on selling in the future, you could potentially get some money for the cards you're not going to use. So this is a really good one, especially if you're into reptiles and you like that strategy. Okay, Penguin Pool. This one's very similar to the last one, but there is a requirement. In order to play this, you also need to have three reputation. If you don't, you can't play this. So you need to have at least three. But you'll get to place a special tile, this one here, hence the penguin pool. Um, and it has to be placed next to water, it even says it on the card. And then each time you play a bird icon into your zoo, you get two appeal. So if you get some other birds besides the Obviously, your penguin pool, you're going to get some appeal, extra, extra appeal for putting birds. So it's going to reward you for putting birds into your zoo, or bird icons anyways. And at the end of the game, if you have at least six bird icons in your zoo, you'll get one conservation point. Pretty cool. Okay, baboon rock. Let's make this easier on my hands, too. Okay, so... This one is another one of the special tiles, similar to the last one. You get a uh, primate tile. They get to get this special tile here for the baboon rock. And it has to be placed next to a rock space. And then each time you play a, a primate icon into your zoo, you get two appeal to do that. So, very similar to the penguin pool, obviously. But then, obviously, you also, uh, if you have six primates in your zoo at the end of the game, you'll get an extra conservation point to boot. So cool. Okay, next one is the side entrance. So you get a special tile for this one as well, and you place, yeah, but it has to be placed on the border, okay? Place on two border spaces. Even shows a picture of what a border space means, meaning the edge of your zoo. It has to be placed on two of them at the edge of your zoo. So that means you can't place it on one and then have the other one in the middle of your zoo or something like that. They both have to be, both, both spots have to be, be placed, basically, at the end, okay? But it doesn't need to be adjacent to other buildings, which is cool. So, like, this, is, this usually breaks the rule. Normally, when you build an enclosure or you build something into your zoo, it has to be adjacent to something you've already built. But this one is going to let you break that rule by actually letting you build it 
you know, somewhere else. So you don't have to rely on that, which is nice. Makes it much easier to play into your zoo when you don't have to worry about adjacency too. And then that's the instant effect, but then you also get the income effect. So whenever you take a break, whenever a break is initiated or a coffee break is initiated, however, whatever you want to call it, uh, you'll get to take the income part of that phase. And then during that income phase, you'll gain two money for each building, except empty standard enclosures, next to the side entrance. So it's going to reward you for enclosures that have animals in it that is also adjacent to this side entrance. Pretty cool uh, that you'll get money for that. So maybe you'll get a couple couple bucks or maybe a few, four or five, six, something like that, you know. And then at the end of the game, if you are able to complete the zoo, zoo map completely covered, you'll get five appeal, which is nice because if you normally do that and you upgrade your, your build and all that, you would normally get seven appeal if you're able to completely fill your zoo map, but this is going to reward you with five more appeal if you completely fill your zoo map in. So that's the side entrance. Okay, so the zoo school. This one, it has to be placed on at least two border spaces. So even though it's a three size tile, only two of the three have to be placed on the edge of your zoo, on the border of your zoo. Then you get to take one card from the deck or within your reputation range. So depending on where, you, where, you, where your reputation is will depend on what cards you could potentially get that are face up. Or you just take one card from the deck as another instant bonus. But then obviously another instant bonus you're going to get for placing the zoo school in your zoo is you get one conservation and you get one reputation. So the zoo school is actually a really good card to get in the beginning of the game especially. Okay, water playground. This one is another one of the tiles that have to be placed next to water. And that's in fact what it says, right? And you get to you get to place this special tile and then by doing so you get four appeal. Okay, Aerial Cableway. Each time you play a rock icon into your zoo, you'll get two appeal. So having this particular sponsorship card in your zoo, every time you play a rock icon in your zoo, meaning like an animal that has a rock icon on it, for instance, or another one of these sponsor cards that have rock icons on them, you're going to get two appeal each time you play one into your zoo which is nice, but you remember you have to have probably an X token, you're going to need one in order to play this into your zoo because it does cost a six tier, and remember, it only goes up to five. And then at the end of game, if you have at least six rock, icon, uh, rock icons in your zoo, you'll get one conservation point, including this. Since this already has two rock icons in it, you'll only need four more, you know, and then you'll get your conservation point at the end of game. That's how that one works. Meerkat Den. And this is another one that requires three reputation. You have to have three reputation to place it into your zoo. Each time you play an herbivore icon into your zoo, you get two appeal. Okay, so it's going to reward you for obviously playing herbivore icons into your zoo. And remember, this is an herbivore icon right here. So placing the Meerkat Den into your zoo gives you that to appeal right away as well because you just place this into your zoo. You also get to obviously place this, obviously this tile here, which is the meerkat den, next to at least one rock space. And at the end of the game, if you have at least six herbivore icons in your zoo, you get one conservation point. Okay, the barred owl hut. Each time you play a bird icon into your zoo, you draw two cards from the deck. Keep one and you discard the other. So if you're going to play a lot of bird icons in your zoo and you play this, obviously, and you have to obviously have an X token to obviously even use this and it has to have your sponsorship card at five, of course, too, to play this. But, you know, you get the instant effect of placing the Bard Al Hut, which is this tile, obviously. And then you get the perception ability, which is something some of the animals have, especially the birds. Have, a lot of the birds have perception. Perception two, which will allow you to draw two cards from the deck and you get to keep one discarded in the other. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Okay, Aquarium. This is another one that requires three reputation. And this special tile here has to be, has to be ne next to at least two water spaces as well. Because it is an aquarium, that makes sense, right? It's logical. 
And then each time you play a water icon into your zoo, you get two appeal. So when you play something that's got a water icon into your zoo after the aquarium is in your zoo, you get two appeal extra, which is nice. And then at the end of game, if you have at least six water icons in your zoo, you get one appeal. And remember, this is giving you two water icons. So now you'd only need four water icons left in order to basically meet the requirements for this aquarium. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little tile, too. Okay. Science Library. Each time a research icon is played into any zoo, you gain two money. So this will reward you a lot. Because, let's face it, if you're playing with multiple players, especially, more than two, I mean, uh, there's a good chance, a very, very good chance, especially if you get this in the beginning of the game, a very good chance that there's going to be somebody, somebody playing some science icons into their zoo. They're going to get a science university. And most of the, two of the three science universities have science icons on them. So there's a good chance uh, that that's how you'll get some money. Also, you know, there's animals that have science icons, and obviously there's other sponsorship cards that have science icons on them. And so for every science icon that is played into any zoo, you get two money. So if a, there's even cards that have more than one science icon, which would mean you'd get more money because it's got more, which is cool. And at the end of game, you get one conservation point for five different animal category icons. So all of these, all the different, there's more than five here. There's actually seven different animal icons. So if you have five of the seven, you get one conservation point at the end of the game. Science Lab. Now, in order to play this, you do need to upgrade uh, the sponsorship up to level two, obviously, in order to play this. Um, but it does give you an instant effect of allowing you to draw a card up to your reputation range. So that's something. And then during the income phase, you take one card from the deck or within your reputation range, hence this symbol here as well. So that's for the income of your break phase. That's what you're going to get every income phase. You're basically getting card, you know, maybe for one face up, maybe one from the deck. Who knows? Your choice. And then at the end of game, you'll get this amount of conservation points based on how many science icons you have in your zoo. If you have three, you'll get one conservation point. If you have six, you'll get two conservation points. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Okay. Release of uh, patents. This one means max 25. So if your appeal has passed 25 appeal, you can no longer play this card. There are cards that in this game that have that symbol. So this is not the only one. There's a, there's a bunch of them. So if you have more than 25 Obviously, you're not going to be able to play this. So you're going to need to get this early on in the game if you want to play it, most likely. But um, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get this instant effect of the amount of science icons you have in your zoo is going to get you conservation points. You can only get three max. So if you have more than three research icons, you're not going to get more than three anyway. But then for each one you gained this way, all other players get two money. So you're getting conservation points you're giving your opponents some money in the process. So, you know, they get a benefit as well. And it's, you know, interactive too. It's a really good card all around. Okay, Medical Breakthrough. This one requires you to have four science, I science icons in your zoo to play, which is not easy to do in the beginning of the game. You might have two or three if you get, a, get both of the universities, but it's going to be something that might not be played till later, Okay. Okay, so the instant effect is for each conservation project that you were able to support, because when you, when you support a conservation project, you're going to take a cube off of your player mat, and that's going to go to the conservation project, okay, from one place to the other. Well, those cubes that you're taking off obviously are going to give you benefits, right? So for each one, each one of those cubes that you've taken off of your player board to support a conservation project you're going to get two instant appeal for each one that you've done. It's a medical breakthrough for sure. And then, you know, at the income phase of the of the break, of the coffee break, you'll get one conservation point as well, each coffee break phase. So that's nice. That's a good way of getting conservation points. 
Okay, this one also requires you to have four science, I science icons in your zoo to play, obviously. And you get an instant effect uh, for each science icon you have in your zoo. Uh, you're going to get two money for each one you have already. And then each time you play a research icon into your zoo, you get one conservation point to boot. So that's a good one. Okay, moving on. Okay, so let's see here. Um, we'll just do three more for this video. And these are pretty simple. But this one, the uh, Gorilla Field Research, for instance, you're going to um, need to have at least three science icons in your zoo to play. But then you get these nice little benefits of one conservation point and two reputation. Okay, it's pretty simple. Spokesperson here you requires you to have at least one science icon in your zoo already. And then each time you play a research icon into your zoo, you get one reputation. Hence, when you play the spokesperson, you automatically get one reputation because that has a this card already has a science icon on it, obviously. So that's cool, right? And then the Science Institute is easy. You play this uh, into your zoo and you get two science icons for just playing this into your zoo. Nothing else special about that one, Science Institute. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll continue on in the next video with some more cards.